Okay, today is uh, April 27, 2012, and we're here at the Tom Charta, Tom Charta Design Studio in Turin, Italy. And we're talking with Tom about uh, the collection he's put together of all of his works. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. Uh, what you're seeing here is a studio that I've been uh, working inside the studio now for the last 25 years. Uh, I, after I've had a career of uh, working with, uh, with uh, Ghia, the Pinafarina, of course, Di Tommaso, and uh, coming, uh, I came to Italy in the summer of 1958 when uh, Luigi Segre, who was owner of Ghia, offered me a job to come directly from the University of Michigan over to Torino, Italy to work. What I've done here, put together, is uh, my archives. I, I, I had a collection of many, many photos. Uh, magazine articles, everything that were in boxes, and I, before this I never had time to really organize it, but this last year I put together everything in albums, and <clears throat> it's, a, it's a project I've been doing, and uh, I think it was about time to do this, and I'd just like to show it off to the people who are interested. Okay, well, let's have a look at what you got here, so... Well, let's, uh, let's start from the, the very beginning. The very okay. be be beginning was this little model car. This is a model car that... Uh, I designed my last year at the University of Michigan. I took an industrial design course, and the professor of this course, Ari, Ari Lati, was uh, from Finland. He was very interested in this model, and he had been on a sabbatical before, the year before, and he talked to uh, Mr. Segre from Gia. Uh, Segre said, told him, if you have a student that likes to design cars, send them over. So and my professor, when I finally finished his project, he, uh, he said, how would you like to go to Italy? So this was the, what I, Put together. This, I still have this model. It's been refurbished a little bit, but still looks like still new. It was my actually my ticket to come to Italy. It was going to be a one-year deal. And I've been here ever since, more than 50 years. It's an important car. Well, it was for me, and that's why I've kept it in such good condition because I keep looking at it sometimes, and this is really what changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else do you have here, Tom? Well, I just put together uh, the, the place that I've worked. Uh, some of my projects when I was at the University of Michigan. For example, these are architectural projects uh, through the, the five years that I spent at the University of Michigan. You can see the you know, various projects that we did, student projects, of course. There's a California high school. Um, included here is also the original photographs of the model car by, back in 1958. And uh, then after that, uh, this is Luigi Segre, the owner of Ghia. This is a, a group photograph of Ghia. This is the first car I designed, 1959, the Innocenti Spider 950. I was only 24 years old at the time, and I thought I was very fortunate to be able to design an entire car when I was, you know, only 24 years That's old. That's a great looking little car. There's this various articles. This is another show car we did, the Selene, which was used, sent to Russia, and they used it, of all things, to design a taxi. They, made, they used the same concept. And they had a taxi, they made 50 of these cars that were running around Moscow for a number of years. These are just articles on Ghia, various, this is a monorail train that I designed at Ghia for Italy 61, the celebration of the uh, unification of Italy in 1961. Mm -hmm. And I also worked on some of the pavilions for Italy 61, which are shown here also. Hmm. So after, after Ghia, I went on, they offered me a job at Pina Farina. Now, I had always admired Pina Farina. Of course, in America, back in that, those years, 1950s and 60s, Pina Farina was, you know, the pinnacle of design in Italy. So, but some of these are just showing the cars that I designed. While at Pina Farina, this is a Corvair, Chevrolet Corvair, the Corvette Rondini, which some of you may know was sold to Barry Jackson for $1.6 million four, four years ago. This is a, a Mercedes Pagoda roof, shown at Pebble Beach in 1997. This is uh, various articles on all these cars. This is a Ferrari. Now, this doesn't happen too often an American can design a Ferrari. Well, he designed two of them. <laughs> the 330 2 plus 2 coupe in 1965, which actually Pina Farina used as his own personal car for, for a year and a half. These are photographs were taken at the celebration, 60 year celebration of uh, Ferrari and Modena. There's more pictures, sketches of the car. This is the, Ferrari, the second Ferrari design. It was a Ferrari 365 California in 1966. Mm -hmm. Only 14 of these cars were made. It's a very rare car, but it fetches a pretty good price today. 
It's a beautiful collection you have here, all your works for that uh, uh, Pina Farina. Now, these were all in boxes and dispersed. I didn't even know some of the things I have here, I didn't even know I had. How many volumes do you have? Well, uh, dedicated to the, the, the automotive design, I have six volumes. Mm -hmm. To the Di Tommaso, Pina Farina, Ghia. What came after Pina Farina? After Pina Farina, I worked with uh, Di Tommaso. Uh -huh. and, uh, so this is a picture of myself and Di Tommaso back in, the, I think, about 1969. This, this is an unusual car we did. It was a checker cab, of all things. It was a checker taxi cab. <laughs> And uh, this, this goes on to show this is a Isuzu billet that we designed back in 1968. This is uh, various cars, another uh, Isuzu prototype that we did, the Serenissima. This is a Lancia Fulvia that we did for the auto show in Geneva in 1969. Various articles. This is just a recent article on that Lancia Fulvia. This is, what got. This is uh, of course, the, uh, <coughs> the Di Tommaso Pantera. These are articles by Pete Coltrane, Road and Track. At that time it was called the Cobra. That was before the official name was, came out. These are sketches of the Pantera, of course. These are articles referring to the Pantera. Many, many articles. <laughs> this is uh, the Lancia Flaminia, also. Then uh, uh, the it, Duvel. The it's Duvel. all there, isn't it? It's all there. I, I had, as I said, I had it in the box and stored away, and I found things I didn't know I had. These are articles on the Duvel four door Formula One. Now, a designer usually is not asked to design a Formula One car, but back in 1970, uh, Formula One aerodynamics were still very phased, you know, fuzzy. Nothing really. You you kind of worked one by worked on the seat of your pants. You, know? mm -hmm. you felt if it was looked good, it, it ran well. Mm -hmm. So Di Tommaso asked me to come up with a concept for a four-wheel car. Well, the concept was to make a very flat bottom, get to lower your center of gravity as much as possible, which they used. They used the concept of uh, Delara, Giampaolo Delara did all the rest. Mm -hmm. These are, this is a can uh, project that Di Tommaso wanted to use. Uh, these are just uh, prototypes we did before. This is the second Pantera Series 2. This is going to be the new Pantera. But then the oil crisis came along in 1974, so they shipped the car back to the States. It, it, went, uh, it was just there at the Dearborn Ford uh, Museum for a while. Various directors painted the car their own color, used it for a while, then passed it on to somebody else. It was picked up by a friend of mine, Corrado Do Presto in Milano. He bought it three years ago, refurbished the car. It was shown in 2008 at Pebble Beach. Well, no one had ever seen this car. <laughs> at Villa de Este. Villa de Este, yes. Yeah. So when that was shown at Villa de Este, people thought it was a new car, a new concept. Because <laughs> they had never seen it, they had never heard of it. It was 40 years old. It was 40 years old, exactly. Now these are just very, this is a Ford Fiesta. Uh, when De Tommaso sold everything to Ford, he left. But I was still at Kia, so I was kind of alone at the time. And Ayakoki uh, uh, came over and asked me to make a prototype for the Ford Fiesta, which he actually personally selected to be the new Ford Fiesta. Mm -hmm. And here we just go over. Uh, this is uh, a car that I made with a friend of mine, Peter Jacobe, in California. We made a car called the Synthesis, and we did it all entirely ourselves. We rented a garage, we designed the, the chassis, we had uh, some people here in Torino make the, the bodywork, and the car still exists today. Peter Jacobe has it in California. And he drives it around and shows it at various shows. These are some better pictures of it. These are just taken recently as a back in California. And so this is this is Gia. So you've got several books like that. I, I see the next one is Richard Fioni, and then over here is Charter Design. Well, and then uh, over here is uh, Charter Design 2. This is this uh, there's a, a new firm that came out outside Torino called Right If Soy. And uh, I think the most important car that we did for them was the uh, we did cars for Chrysler, prototypes for Chrysler, as you can see, the Chrysler Imperial, La Verna. But the idea is that you've collected everything you've done over the last how many years? Well, it, it, I came in in summer 1958, from 1959 to today, so that's more than 50 years. Yeah, so you've got a collection of 50 years of your work put together in all these volumes here, and uh, and, and broken up into, into several, I guess, categories. 
Well, I say, as I moved from one place to the other, I kept a separate book, you know, long yeah. before these novels. When I started back in 1986 with my own design studio, I just have a collection of what I started with. My first project was with American Motors. It was an interior of a Cherokee. This is a, he asked me to design a, a new interior for the Cherokee. And we've done various things, you know, small projects like an anatomic seat, uh, you know, micro cars. This is the car for PPG. <laughs> yeah, I see that. And, uh, and then over here is what, industrial design? Or is this a continuation of? This is a continuation. This is from uh, 2000 to up to now. Today. Up to now. So, you know, there's various prototypes that we've done. For example, this is a Spiker. Spiker was a company in, is a company in Holland that was started in 1900. And my grandfather, my father, of course, was Dutch. My grandfather was one of the founders of this company. And so my father, before I came to the States, was also involved with Spiker. And uh, so when uh, Victor Mueller, who bought the name 12 years ago, found out about the charter name, he knew me, of course, and he asked me to design a prototype, which you see here. Mm -hmm. These are what this is a sketch of the car. These are this uh, articles, of course. This is a Shelby Series 2. The Shelby Series 1 was sold to our group in, in California. And so we took it over, I redesigned the car the aesthetically, and the, of course it was re put back to, you know, in the running order mechanically, and uh, this is the result of our collaboration. Hmm. This is a special Ventura that uh, I bought a Ventura when I was in California with, for a very reasonable price, and I was just going to use it to drive around while I got, I never drove it. <laughs> so with my, my associates in California, we decided to take the car and uh, do a special Ventura, which we did, you see here, special front and rear, special wheels, special interior, and we sold it to Barrett Jackson. We hmm. made a nice profit on the car. It was a business. <laughs> These are the more articles. You got any various things? The print there, most of it. This is now. This is a Ford Mustang. This is a special project that we did for a 1967 Mustang for an entrepreneur from Paris, who has a collection of Mustangs, and he asked me to do the design, modify the front, rear, and interior. And he organized a trip to. India. We started from Mumbai with uh, 10 of these cars and we went all through the northern part, ended up in Jaipur, 15 mm -hmm. day tour, mm -hmm. using 10 classic Mustangs. Also other things, for example, this is a tire design, mm -hmm. a, a polo mm -hmm. in India. Mm -hmm. This is a special Mustang we did for the movie Fast and Furious number 4. They used my name on the car and we did this car in California for that, for that movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is, a, this is an electric Mustang that we did. This is our sketches for a PSV, which means personal security vehicle, which we showed in um, Pebble Beach uh, three years ago. A security car. Hmm. This is an electric. We had a, a project going with a new electric car with inboard brakes, inboard electric motors. It's going to be a small sports car convertible. This is a project that I did. I worked three months as a consultant for Dittomazzo, the new Dittomazzo. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, it's a complete collection, it's for sure. Yeah. And this one? This one here is, uh, well, I've been asked for the last five or six years now do for many design conferences, especially in China, India, uh, Turkey, you know, these emerging countries that are very interested in the design. And young people just love design. Mm -hmm. You go to China, you go anywhere, these emerging countries, they, they're enthusiastic about design. So they set up a lot of design conferences, inviting a lot of people from all over the world, mm -hmm. not only designers, but architects, urban planners, and whatnot. So this is a tour, this is a, the talk, the slide and talk show that I give them, just going through my career. When I was in Detroit, projects I did, for the various companies, like the, the, the car I showed you before, the Innocenti, this is the Selene, which was turned into a car for Moscow, the Moscow Taxi, 1962. This is a... So this is the uh, essentially the pres presentation that you this give is a presentation. for a design conference. Exactly. Huh. And I keep, uh, you know, renovating it every once in a while. I go through, you know, why is it, they ask me many times, why is it that Italy is so famous for design? Well. Their, their culture goes back to the Greek architecture, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. The theory of proportions, you know, Leonardo da Vinci 
wrote many books about proportions. This is a Mona Lisa, you know, why is she smiling or is she frowning? Is she happy or is she sad? Yeah. And then back there? Back here we have, these are just smaller volumes of, the, these are personal manuscripts that I've written, you know, about my career, personal experiences, sometimes about, you know, individual cars, sometimes it's about very generic things that I've done over the years. This is a professional work experience from 1958 to 2000. And uh, hmm. so if we go to this one here, these are the design uh, presentations that I've given over the years. This is a design tour in Shenzhen, the city of design, they call it. Uh, this is a, another one, but a, a fascination factor. These are all you know, different presentations that I've done over the years. And so this, then there are some duplicate articles in here also. This is a complete collection of your professional career. It's complete, it's as complete as I can make it. <laughs> it's really astonishing. This is uh, the India road tour that I told you about before. These are just, you mm -hmm. know, pictures that I've taken. This is, mm -hmm. this is Miss India, I think, for a number of years ago. And this is another Miss India, you know, they had, they really put on a show. So this just goes through the whole tour that we did for 15 hmm. days in, in India. Interesting. And I also put together a volume on my father, my father John Charter, and this uh, some of the articles that were written, you know, about him. You can see them here. This is by Carl Luke. This is the original patent of the Lincoln Zephyr. Hmm. These are, this is, was deposited in the United States Patent Office. I wrote an article on my father, with I think the most famous one was Carl Ludwigson, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's, it's, it's all here. And there's also, in the end, there's some communication between Duesenberg, Mr. Duesenberg, and my father. So mm -hmm. there's some original blueprints of the cars my father designed for. Did he uh, design any Duesenbergs? Yes, he did. He designed uh, three or four Duesenbergs. Did he? Yeah. Wow. They're, they're here. Yeah. Huh. The last one here are this. These are, you know, up to about five years ago, six years ago, I was using a, a you know, a classic camera with Sure. Camera. But then, the, you know, that kind of went out. So I, up to then, you know, I have all the, most of the photographs that I've taken, you know, up to about six years ago. Nice photograph I've got, too. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, nice. So that's, that's my... So you've, you've got, your whole life here is categorized and put together, your professional life is categorized and put together in these volumes. Yeah. And then here in your office, uh, let's just take a walk down the hall. You've got uh, some photographs here on the wall of uh, well, these are just, not uh, a lot of your cars, but to, uh, some of them, huh? Not all of them. These are just some of the cars that I had had to, you know, take a few photographs off that I'll put them back up for my volumes to complete them. Uh huh. But this is just, a, you know, for people that come in here to see what I've done. And you've got a small library here and some model cars. Mm -hmm. Books, cars on this wall here, photographs, and then they're nicely framed. And over here is more. These are the some projects that I've done here in my office uh, these last few years. Yeah. Yeah, very well presented, Tom. And uh, awards that you've been. Well, these are awards. This is, for example, uh, through the years. A friend from Japan gave me this this model of a Pantera that I thought was so nice in the box. I just left it that way. Yeah, it is nice in the box. Very, you know, it's very rare. Yeah, it's very rare, and it is a beautiful packaging job. I mean, this, you know, it's just oozing of the fascination about yeah. how you put this together. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, go back in the other room there. And uh, it's an amazing job what you've done here. Well, I started off, uh, you know, I said I saw all these boxes and stuff. And I said, well, it's about time I get this. You know, I put this all the stuff together, and one thing led to the other, and I really got involved in doing it. You know, and I, I, I wanted to, you know, really put it together and tell a story. This is, of course, it's a complete archive. It is a complete archive, but it also tells a story. You know, how I came to Italy because so many people ask me this when I'm going to go to these design conferences. They asked me, how did you get the job in Italy? You were in America, in Detroit. You could have worked on cars in Detroit. And so I had to tell them, you know, I had to tell them a story. Uh, especially in China, they wanted, they love to hear stories. So that's why I devised this, this design tour. Because the first uh, few times I was invited to India, they asked me to give theory of design, how do you design a car, which I did. 
But the, the one they loved was because I was running out. I was running out of subjects. I didn't know what to tell them. So one evening I told my wife this, and she said, well, why don't you tell them a story? My wife was a school teacher. So what do you mean a story? These are mature, you know, students, uh, professors, uh, entrepreneurs, businessmen. I said, tell them a story about you. So that's how I put together the story of how I came to Italy and why I stayed here and the cars they designed. And they loved that. They said, one time, one guy got up after I did my presentation, you know, maybe 2,000 people out there. The guy got up and said, when you go back to Italy, you thank your wife for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we sign off, if uh, people want to get a hold of you, uh, you want to give them your email address? Well, yeah, I can do that. It's very simple. Charta uh, at astranet, A-S-T-R-A-N-E-T dot I-T. Yeah, or they can also Google you uh, no, on it. Google. They probably Google you and you pop up there. Yeah, that's it. It's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to repeat that email address again? It's Charda, T-J-A-A-R-D-A, -A -A at astranet, A-S-T-R-A dot, no, excuse me, not dot, N-E-T, astranet, one word, dot I-T. Okay. And one more time. Charda, Charda at, at Astronet. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, uh, thanks for having me here and showing me everything. It's just, I'm sure the people watching this video were, uh, are totally blown away by what they've just seen. Well, thank you for coming and doing it.